Pisces, this September, there is a lot of stress for everyone, but I have to say you might feel it more than most because it is eclipse season and the eclipses are falling in your sign and your opposite sign. So let's talk about ways to address it and to really make the best of whatever's happening, okay? On the first, there's a solar eclipse in your partnership sector. Now this is good news in the sense that it could be a brand new alliance that wants to come together either in business or in your personal life, but there's so much aggravation around this partnership, you might actually begin to wonder if it's worth it at all. It may or may not be. You have to be patient and wait until the end of the month to have that clarity. So don't make that decision early in the month. Just see what's happening in partnership matters. Understand there is some kind of new beginning and an opportunity here between you and someone else, but you may want to change your approach to it by the end of the month. Great news is that on the 9th, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, will move into your 8th house and remains there for 13 months until October of 2017. So with Jupiter in your 8th house, money is increasing, but it's not your earnings. It's money that comes to you from a source besides your own income. This is either investment money, this could be royalties, commissions, this could be money from your partner. It could also be an inheritance or a settlement that comes your way. It looks like a nice chunk of change and you're benefiting from other people's resources for a long time. So if you're thinking about asking for venture capital or applying for loans, this is the year to do it. On the 16th, there's a lunar eclipse in your sign and this is more stress, okay? This lunar eclipse is really difficult for you. You are feeling overly emotional, you're not rational, you're fighting, you're arguing, you are just not in a good place and you're reactive. You're highly reactive with this eclipse. So please do what you can to nurture yourself, to keep calm, to underschedule yourself and, and do whatever it takes to keep yourself calm. I do think this has to do with a relationship. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a strong sense that there's a big relationship adjustment that is happening for you. And again, this could be a business partnership, doesn't have to be a personal relationship, but there's an adjustment here and it's frustrating because things don't seem to be going exactly the way you want them to. By the 22nd, Mercury turns direct after having been retrograde since August 30th and is turning direct in your partnership sector. So you see, all this relationship drama will begin to resolve itself by the end of the month. You're gonna have to be patient and understand that it will pass. Pisces, now that you know what's happening this September, be sure to watch more astrology videos with me right here at tarot.com.